raving and controversial, as some media outlets put it. Heroic odyssey of survival at all odds. Gory and shocking. Heartbreaking and real. Masterfully written. No less than a literary achievement. All this is American Dirt by Janine Cummings. I couldn't put it down and patch it. I didn't just read this book, I inhabited it. A magnificent novel, says Oprah Winfrey. One hell of a novel about a good woman on the run with her beautiful boy, says Stephen King. It's been a long time since I turned pages as fast as I did with American Dirt, John Grisham. So many acolytes, it's even ridiculous. Let's get down to the bottom of it. There's still an ongoing controversy about the book being overly stereotypical and written by an American author, which implies that most of the depicted reality in the book is cliché or overgeneralization. I do believe that controversy is generally good for book sales, and I wouldn't dwell on it a lot. Let's just focus on the book and on the story itself. Where should I begin? Well, I just say that uh, just the sheer touch of the book cover ignites um, the memories of the intense feelings that I went through while I was reading the book. But let's put it this way. This book is brilliant. It's a masterpiece. And this is a bold statement, I know. So let me explain the reasoning behind it. Well, let's start off with the premise and the storyline. It sets the whole context for the book. The main protagonist, whose name is Lydia, tries to flee away from Mexico together with her son, whose name is Luca, after narcos have massacred her entire family of 16 people. The trigger for the hunt was um, the publication of her husband's article exposing the extremities behind the newly established cartel in Acapulco. The trouble with trying to escape the cartel is that they are so powerful and so deeply integrated in all the public services. So basically wherever you go, like whomever you talk to, like be the police officer, a medical worker, a border guard, like anybody could be paid by a cartel. Her only chance to survive is to get out of Mexico entirely. But uh, since her options are severely limited, she has to take the deadliest route of all. Board on and off with the so-called Pistia train, which goes to El Norte and carries the migrants from all over Latin America to the borders of the United States. Along the way, she has to fight off the burglary, the torture, rape, killing, in order just to stay alive and protect her son. The context is sufficient enough to give you non-stop bouts of adrenaline. But underneath all the gore, there is a great deal of depth. It's such a layered cake, it's just unbelievable. Characters are extremely well constructed, with their emotions, fears, conflicts and intrinsic motivations, they feel so real that at times you completely forget that you are reading fiction. The second layer is empathy towards people. This book will change your entire outlook on the Mexican immigrants and the topic of immigration as a whole. You suddenly realize that these people are not abstract, random, some of them are really decent, low-abiding citizens who used to be like middle or even higher class, basically the same as you and me. And suddenly their life has changed up to the point where they have to think about survival at all odds. Next layer is family values. The question that really stuck with me is the dilemma posed by the author, which each reader has to solve by him or herself. And the question is the following, like, what is primary? Saving your family or sticking up to your idealist values? Should you go to the extent of risking your family's safety and publish that article 
retaining your idealist values. Another thing is the Mexican culture. Although, as I've said, some critics claim that the depiction of Mexico and immigrants is mostly cliche and uh, filled with stereotypes, I'd say that let the haters hate. I enjoyed every bit of the book. Author's writing is so engrossing that you can literally feel the sun on your skin, the floral smells of tropical forests, the scent of spices and cobblestone in small Mexican cities. Language is poetic and concise at the same time. I literally wanted to bathe in it. It was so well written. I don't know how, but Janine Cummings has literally created a masterpiece that cannot be missed. I would give this book one of my highest ratings, which is 9 out of 10, and I would definitely recommend it for reading. If you want to know more about books, if you want to stay on top of all the book trends, please subscribe.